Hi there and welcome to this video. My name is Maximilian and today we're going to take an abstract photo of a daffodil such like this using ultraviolet light and that will just fluoresce nicely and it will create an image like this. Now in this image I used tonic water as pretty much the only ingredient beside the daffodil and what I did is that I put that daffodil with the butt facing straight up and I created a little bit of a pool of tonic water inside the bud, inside the head of the flower. And I placed a single bead of it right on the stamen and that is that anchor point, that visual anchor from where you explore the photo. That's at least how I experienced my photo. And so I'm going to do this again today and all the crazy background blur, bokeh, blue, bubble mist well, as I said, that is mist added with this mister right out of the tonic water bottle. And that's how I created the shot. Well, I'm going to prepare the scene right here that we will be photographing and I'll see you in a second. Now the scene is set up so far. I've got the little bead placed right in the center of the flower. I've got the LED side light. And next I'm going to set up the UV speed light and that looks like this. All right, everything is set up now. I've got the bead placed in the flower, the camera is focused, I've got my side light, my ultraviolet flash, and I already turned the softbox down to half its power, as you might have noticed, but this is necessary to get a cleaner UV shot. It won't be 100% clean, but that won't anyway be an option using an LED light in the image. And I don't care for it, I just care for cool colors right now, and this is what we're going to get. Let's take a test shot. Now, the test shots look great. They look so good actually that I want to keep going, but some of them are overexposed, but I don't want to turn down the UV light. Instead, I'm going to turn off the softbox for a second and maybe turn the flash down a little and we'll see what we get. Now, this is the shot I wanted to create and I pretty much got it. I'm really happy for it, but I'm not done yet as we still need to add in the blue mist into the background and we're going to do this in the next shot. I will just see if I can maybe get this flash mounted on a stand here so that it's a little easier to handle for me. I think I might have a chance to do that. So I decided to change the scene around a little bit and the light comes from above now and this is angled straight down. It should still give me a similar result, but instead I don't have to handhold the flash anymore. So let's see if this works out in our favor. And there we go. <laughs> it was a bit of a mess, but the final image was absolutely worth it, wasn't it? Now I'll take it into Photoshop and just show you right now what I did with it. So there is the final edit. I personally like it a lot. I think I like it even a little better than the initial photo I took before I did this whole video. And that is because first of all this time I knew what I was doing. I, I had taken the photo already and so this was familiar ground for me. And that is just a, a better approach or a, approach with a with a better chance for a great shot right if you if you know what you're doing and if you have experience so that's something i always encourage just go back and do it again and you probably will take a better shot or at least learn something and the other reason why i like it better is that i think this time i went more reasonable with the post processing the first time i was really excited for the shot and i might have overdone the the saturation or vibrance a little bit Anyway, here's the photo. Tell me what you think about it. If you enjoyed the video, leave me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. And I have a couple other videos on UV photography as well. So if you want to check them out, go ahead. I'll put a link right in the end of this video. And thanks for watching. I'll see you around. Cheers.